Y'all know the vibes. I'm going on a date with a doctor. <laughs> so y'all stay tuned. Let's see how it goes. We got to make a little stop, though. We got to make one stop before we, before I go pick her up. Got to get her some flowers. I'm a real lover boy. I'm a real gentleman. Y'all know the vibes. We're going to Kroger, get some flowers, $9. And we in the... What's up, boy? Y'all got to get some my vlog real quick. I'm with the gang. You know the vibes, man. Yeah. Really my brother right here. Bro, you always showing love and support, bro. Yeah, yeah. No, I appreciate that. <sighs> Make sure to give her flowers. What kind of flowers is the keto? Let's see, $9. Hold on. I'm in bird bouquets. I'm on my die. I can go simple right here. Easy. <sighs> Let's look around. Right here, $9.99. Hold on. This is really the one right here. Y'all see it? Yeah. We lit. See, everybody know. Nine dollars get us something like this. Oh my god, this is so nice. Oh my god, you have to do this. Watch. Oh, she from Boston. You feel me? She ain't never had water burger. So I'm gonna take her to water burger. You gotta take every out of town of the. You know what I'm saying, GA? To water burger just so they can experience that. Then I'm gonna take her to a little coffee shop. We gonna chop it up and have a good time. She a doctor, GA. This it's about to get real surgical. You feel me? Like. We're gonna see what it is. <laughs> Y'all see the braids too. Are you here? Hello. Hi. What's up, what's up? Come on, you know I'm outside. I've been waiting on you the whole time. Liar. What you mean? Are you actually outside right now? No, nah, I'm outside for real. Oh, okay, okay. I didn't think you were waiting on me. You never texted me. Say that you were here. I know, I'm missing with you. <laughs> I just pulled up though. I, I just pulled up though. That's a, I already got you on the vlog right now. What you mean? Oh, so, oh, you want to cut this part out? I was like, hey, y'all, I'm a, I'm a, ah! <laughs> So that's tip number one, guys. If you ever get a girl flowers and you're picking her up, instead of just handing her the flowers, put them in um, the seat. So when you open the door, they right there for her. Don't say I didn't, don't, don't say I didn't give y'all the game. I'm right here. <laughs> I know, I know. You see my one eye. What up, girl? How are you? Oh, my gosh. You really <sighs> What up, girl? Show us how you looking. Eek. Okay. It's kind of cold. Kinda cold. Ooh, textures. Stop playing with her. I'm so annoying. What's up, though? Good. How are you? I'm good. You so That's what I'm saying, bro. I haven't seen you in a long time. Oh, my gosh. It's so <sighs> Dang. Oh What's up? I'm so happy to see you. I know. I'm really happy to see you. Dang, it's crazy. So, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's get out of here. You know, I got to get the dough for you now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We're going to get that for you, gang. <laughs> no, it's not, it's not for me. Who else is it for? <laughs> what you mean? Go <laughs> ahead. What you think about it? What do you think? I know you leaving soon, though. No, I'm agreeing with me. I love these flowers. They're you like so them? Cute. Yeah. Uh, well, now, you know I'm you know <laughs> I'm always thinking <laughs> flowers hit every time. Don't do I thought you were gonna cancel on So I would never do that. Come on now. I mean I'm very I've been very crazy. Ma'am, I'm looking for love, okay? And it right it might be right next to me. Alright, I, I like the way you think. You said he's looking for love. Is it me? Or is it you? <laughs> 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 How tall are you right now? I'm probably like I'm the same height as you. Same height? See how we look real quick. You know the vibes. You know the vibes. It's just my shoes. I have like booties on. Yeah. Yeah, I know I love tall women. He does. I got to make ballers. Okay? I can't stand him. This is our first time at, at Whataburger. She from Boston. Oh. Yeah, I've never had one. Yeah. Uh, well, Whataburger is very popular here. Yeah. 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 You got to get the patty milk. I'm sorry. Where's the, where's the patty milk? Where's that? Patty milk are great. They're great, right? They're great. I miss eating them. They're my favorite. Oh, patty milk, y'all. Y'all know the vibes. You got to get it. Yeah. She came from Boston? Yeah. She came from Boston. Are you here? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, she came visiting me. This my this my little boo right here. Oh. <laughs> I can't stand you know, him. My, so I had to take her to, to Whataburger he for the first soccer. time. He loves That's good. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. In the best restaurant in right now. Yeah, right. Best food, best exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You got to get... Yeah. I'm, about to, I'm doing a dating vlog. <laughs> you feel me? 
So I get like baddies and I take them on dates. I can't see her. She might be my only one I need though. We'll see. You know I mean? so he, he's see. a chatter. We're going to see he's how it goes. Chatting, so. So, because this is your first visit in Houston? Yeah. I give you a Oh, oh, thank you God. so much. I appreciate that. Oh, oh my, you are so sweet. You're so sweet. Thank you. She's so sweet. Thank you. It's, 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 it's my first time too. <laughs> <laughs> no, listen, listen. Yeah, this is Dr. Dot's treatment. This is Dr. Dot's treatment. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You can hold that for me. Yeah, I hold that for you. Oh, she's so amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. You are so sweet. I appreciate that. that so, so right now I'm in medical school. I'm a third year medical student and I am um, applying for residency next year. So wish me luck. I'm like, the food is here. Yeah, angle it up. Ooh, for sure. look at that. Oh. <laughs> Hello folks. This is really good. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? I want my little boo to the left of me. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> It no. is for you. Don't we look good? So we look good together. Yeah. Oh, that's for me? Yeah. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. I thought she was about to damn near feed it to me or something. <laughs> I'm like, dang, we really getting the character. <laughs> <laughs> Not character. <laughs> I'm dying right now. Who's you say Whataburger? Whataburger. Whataburger. What a burger. What a burger. Yeah. What a burger. Oh, what a burger. Nah, it's, it's what a burger. It's what a burger. <laughs> so Honestly, it's, it's, it's either what a burger or oh. what a burger. Oh, I say what a burger. Water. I thought it was like water burger, but it's what a burger. What a burger. You gotta understand, Patty Melt is top three burger I've ever had in my life. I I'm swear, I swear, I, I, if you know, you know. No, okay. I'm not trying to be funny. You see the energy though? What happened? Like just your energy, what I was saying in the car. <laughs> she gave you the whole meal for free. I know, no, that's God you right there. Me? No, that was actually like it's so good when you like when you're just a good person by God's grace, the really good things come back. back. It really does. The type of lady you are, though, I just what I'm talking about just energy wise. A lot of a lot of women not like that. Thank you. So I just to see that. that, like that, just like it's it showing confirmed? me that's what I need oh. in my life. <laughs> Stop. Bro, I'm not. I'm so serious. Why are you laughing? Because you're, you're making me blush. Stop. I need it. <laughs> I need that in my life, man. Oh, uh, right. I love seeing like just great energy for real. You know, people be shysty out here. No, I know. I like, like I didn't realize how bad women actually are sometimes. Like, no, no shame on women and whatnot. Like, we know our share guys. Are exactly, hundred percent. Jerks, but I've like had a couple of conversations with my guy friends, and they told me how bad the dating culture is, especially with certain women and the standards that they're looking for. I need you to taste that body milk. Okay, let me hear it. It ain't got enough juice on there, though. Do we want juice? Oh, that's the bite right there. Oh, my oh God. God. Okay. Oh, my God. Hold up for you. I want. I got to get this. Amen. Hold up, hold up for you. Bite that thing. Oh, my God. It looks so good. I'm not going to lie. Get in there. Bite that thing, Tiger. Bite it. Mm -hmm. <sighs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you gotta understand on nights when you turn. <laughs> hey, you funny. Let me put this back, son. I love the food. Like what? So that's the key to your heart. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. What else is the key to your heart? So good food. Give me mm. like two more. God fearing, man. God fearing. That's what I need. You know, uh, you know. <laughs> so God fearing. Okay, I like that. Kind. You see how you're kind. To the ladies. Yeah, I yeah. love how you're very kind. Like, I don't like the jerks. I don't like. Assholes. Yeah, for sure. Me neither. I'm not into that. So the key to your heart is food, someone being kind, mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. and God fearing. And family oriented. I have a big family. family. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm really big into family. 100% like, me too. Family is everything. Like, do you have a big family? Mm -hmm. How does your family look my like? My mom, my mom got four siblings. My dad has four siblings. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. Can I tell you something? You got to look something like, <laughs> yeah. you know, I, you know, I don't want it because it is. No, 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 go ahead. You know what I'm saying? No, good, because like, let me know if I'm like. You, you always on you point though. You, huh? You do it for me? <laughs> <laughs> I can't see you. It's <laughs> you can hear me. Let me so get it for you, man. Hey, come here. Get it for me. me. <laughs> come on, you, you laughing too much. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, come on. <laughs> Man, come on, stop playing around. Let me get that. I don't want to mess up yet. It's on the corner right there. You straight now. You straight now, I promise. 
that. You do have nice lips, though. I don't Thank remember you. seeing that at Brenda's. <laughs> you weren't looking at me at Brenda's. Who was it? You weren't. Who was I looking at? Y'all know who y'all thought. Y'all know who y'all thought I was looking at. Who? Actually, you wasn't one of them, though. I think I know you you're gonna say. I know you're gonna say. You wait, 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 wait. Who, who did it? Who, 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 who are you gonna say? They all thought I was looking at white women, bro. Oh, oh. Who, who was you about to say? Never mind. I'm not gonna say it off camera. Oh, uh, drop it. Okay. No, no. <laughs> How does it go? Somebody I know. Yeah, I mean, it's my clearly. best friend. Your best friend? Yeah. She I'm, short? Yeah. Y'all thought the real, real short one. Yeah, yeah. You were, you were never into her. I was way more than you than her. Stop! Don't I'm say that. that. I swear to God, nothing against her though. She looks she's amazing. She's beautiful. Yeah, she's hella beautiful. But it's the energy too, right? Mm -hmm. Not that her energy is bad, but like you're more outgoing, and mm -hmm. you know what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. So she's super cool too. When mm -hmm. she see this, I want to. I'm not coming like you are an amazing lady for sure. Y'all been nice to me. But you have that like I like outgoing women. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm outgoing myself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. And she was like real chill. Yeah, very chill. You know what's crazy though? I'll be I'll be uh attracting a lot of chill women. Really? Yeah, it's like opposites. a balance. Yeah. Yeah, opposites attract. So I don't know. I don't know what's what's for me. Who did you date at Brandeis? Who did I date? Mm -hmm. At Brandeis? Yeah, Man, we going crazy. Yeah, <laughs> no no no. I, I don't remember who you dated. Nah, I, um I don't know I only talked to two girls seriously. I didn't talk to them seriously, but two girls that I messed with consistently. Who? Do I know them? <laughs> I put my glasses on for this. <laughs> yeah, it is. Name drop, name drop. <clears throat> so the first lady, mm -hmm. um, it happened. It didn't happen by default because she was really cool and everything. But basically, my first year at Brandeis, mm -hmm. a lot of the black women they assumed that I liked the white women mm -hmm. because I hung out with, you know, people, fellas that did like white women. Mm -hmm. You feel me? I'm so not the same turn, white women. Exactly. So in turn, that forced me to. Um, Basically, talk to white women. So I had a, a tall white girl that I used to, that I was messing with for a minute at Brandeis. Oh, wow, really? So yeah. it was her and then who else? And then a little Hispanic joint my senior year. You know, guys, at the end of the day, you know, I love all women. You know, white women are cool, Latinas are great, but I love my queens. I'm queen. Exactly. <laughs> I love my queens. I love my beautiful black woman. Um, you know what's crazy? Mm. This happened recently, too, like a year ago. I'm lying. A couple months ago. <laughs> I just, like, you know, I got away from uh, my love for black women. And mm. I promise a couple months ago, I just, I'm, like, obsessed with black women now. Really? Like, I'm, I'm obsessed with us, too. I'm black. You're obsessed with who? I'm obsessed with us, too. <sighs> You know, I mean, I'm so happy to see you. I'm happy to see you too. No, I was so happy. Like, I literally was like, all right, I got to see Ryan before I leave. 100%. Like, so, I to. how does, what, what does long distance look like for you, right? Because mm -hmm. I'm in Houston and you're in, um, yeah. in Boston. Yeah. I'm in New York right now. Oh, you're in New York. Yeah, but I, because I'm in med school, so I'm, I'm done with mm. my rotations. She's a doctor. What can I say? I'm a doctor in the making. But um, I'm done with my rotations in New York. Excuse me. In June. Um, and then I have to take my step two exam, which is like part of the board license. Mm -hmm. And then after, I'm actually going to be in New York for another month. And then I plan on doing one rotation in New Jersey, doing two rotations. So when I say one rotation, it's a month. And these rotations are electives in the field that I want to go into. Right. And then I'm going to be in, in California for two months, for two to three months. Yeah, you traveling, traveling. Mm -hmm. And then I'll be in Florida for two to three months. Yeah. Where? Um, Fort Lauderdale and Miami. I swear to God. Mm -hmm. You going to Miami? Yeah. I have family there. So it's just like, it's, oh, it, 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 it's not like, to be honest, coming to Houston is more partying for me than going exactly. to Miami. Like Miami. Oh, for yeah, because Miami is like, when I first went to Miami for the first time with our family, it was like, you know, a Miami trip during college. Yeah, for but sure. But like Houston, nah, Houston's this person, it's, it's, it's different. I love exactly. They love black women here. Mm -hmm. And Miami is like, they, <laughs> no, they love us here, okay? It was like, love us. But I think in Miami, there's a typical, uh, typical look. But like, I still get love out there too. But it's just like, it's Latinas very plastic. It's very... Mm. Um, yeah, we like natural. I, yeah. I mean, we like all. We like all. But... But so, yeah, long story short, it's like I don't have like a tentative place 
home right now. Exactly. Like, I'm in New York for the longest, but then after June and after August, I'll be, like, traveling different places. So, like, long distance for me looks like, I don't know what it looks like. Damn. You okay, honey? Uh, yeah. I'm going to cough a little more, y'all, so keep it. <laughs> Just to get that physical touch. What's your, what's your love language? Um, physical touch. I wear the affirmation. Mm. Quality time. I like all of them. Quality time. Exactly. Nice. Like, you would say gifts, but it's more thoughtful gestures. 100%. Like, I like when someone like, oh, I know she's hungry. Like, let me take her to right. this place. Or, or like, somebody get you flowers. Exactly. Like, yeah. You got me flowers. Oh, okay, yeah, for sure. I love that. I just love... Um, See, I knew your love languages already. Oh, really? Because I'll be paying attention to you and your stories and all of that. So, so what, what, um, what else about me have you been paying attention to? Let's put them on the spot. What I've been paying attention to? <laughs> Just how great you've been looking. Mm. Like, you've been putting in work, grinding, working on your body. Mm. Mm-hmm. And you always looked amazing. You feel me? I always. Did. Ever, I did. Ever since I... Really? You know what I'm saying? But you looking amazing. You looking... <laughs> you looking great. I ain't gonna lie to you. You look good, so... Stop. No, I just be paying attention. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Whenever I got a little crush on somebody, like, I just make sure I'm up to date. Ooh, at you had a crush on me at Brandeis? You're lying. At Brandeis? Yeah. Did I have a crush on you? Yeah. Sometimes. <laughs> I'm like all those, but I had crushes on it. Like, on everybody. Bro, bad. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean sometimes? Because we were really good friends. We was cool. Like, like no, I lo- I one time we just did a random photo shoot because we both matched. Oh, my God. Like, and then we went crazy on the gram, insane. too. Yeah, I went crazy. And We've then- been looking good together. Period. That red, if I can find that, I'm going to post that. that on I'll, I'll find it right I'll now. I'll find it right because I I'll find it right now. So how does long distance feel for you? Long distance for me? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> long distance for me, um, you know, I got to be honest and real. Yeah, you know honest me? and real always. Exactly. Long distance for me, sometimes I feel like long distance doesn't work out. Mm-hmm. You know I, what I'm saying? I, and I agree with that statement. Like, in the long run, like, it just doesn't. Oh, my look God. Look at that look hand. At um, look at that. I can't like that picture is so yeah. legendary. We matched and like it was just like who took our pictures? I don't remember. It was just random. That aesthetic. is such a good looking look at us. Look how good we looked. That smile looking off. Look, look at you. Look, look how I look like at how, you. I know. That's what look I'm at saying. look at the hand. <laughs> <laughs> We've been done. We've been. We really wow. look a one black like, and red. Like literally. And it was like the shade of red. Like that's I just know. not a regular was, shade of yeah, red. Yeah, it's like, not. I actually Dang, miss look how you're looking at me too. I wish somebody could look at me like that all the time. I'm, I'm here. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> look, at, look at you, bite your lip. I can't say. You talk about how you don't want to do long distance. Go ahead. No, but I, I agree though. I think I want to do it now though. After seeing that picture and just seeing that chemistry of how he, we look. He's he chatting. What he's you a, mean? He's a chatter. I do need to travel this year though. No, I agree. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I think traveling is really in the. Uh, and it works for me. Mm-hmm. And so, 100% will come, and de- come down and easily see you, mm-hmm. you know? But the reality is, long distance here is pretty tough. Yeah, Especially when your love language is physical touch. Yeah. You said you was just touching my knee? I need that all the time. <laughs> I'm just such a physical touch guy. And words of affirmation is my, is, I used to think quality time. Mm-hmm. Not kind of like words of affirmation. I, I'm an overthinker, Helene. I agree. To like so when same. somebody lets me know how they feel about me, I, I like to it just it's secure. Makes me, oh my god! You know I mean, I think it's just like because there's there's always gonna be the next first person, right? Mm-hmm. But I need to know that my person knows that I like I feel in my heart that no matter where they're at, I'm always gonna be their number one, and it's because they're always reaffirming me. Not because I have insecurity, yeah. but it's because like I exactly. know how my man feels about me, mm-hmm. and so it's important that like <clears throat> I'm not <clears> having <throat> these girls in my DMs like, oh, did you know your man did X Y Z? Like my man tells me like he loves me, I'm beautiful every day. I don't really like don't care what you're saying exactly. or like when the next dude's coming to me it's like i don't want to hear it from you because mm-hmm. i got it from man. you know see that's the biggest thing you said it's not even insecurities at all it's not it's not insecurity it's just like just let me, know. What's yeah, up? Because let me know someone, what you know? yeah because someone else will do it exactly. and you don't want me to take that other person's opinion over yours exactly you want me to feel comfortable at home right mm-hmm. so make sure you're doing your job at home so when you um, you're saying at home and at home when you get into a relationship, right? Mm-hmm. How do you feel about going outside? Your man going outside with the boys, you going outside with the girls. What's that connection? Do you, do, are you you fine with that? You know, some men they be tripping on that. Mm-hmm. Why are you going dressed like that? Like you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. This my sleek tight dress. Mm-hmm. I'm like, damn girl. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Now me, yeah. I'm not tripping. Mm-hmm. I think it's all about respect, like respecting the relationship. Mm-hmm. You can go out with your boys. That's fine. 
but like you're not gonna be the one buying girls drinks. I'm not, I'm not really with that. If you're like, I just think it's like, you're making yourself available to women thinking that you're single mm -hmm. and is this disrespecting our relationship because, because at the end of the day, if there's no harm in buying an, an, another woman a drink, then they're gonna think they have access to you. And yep. then when they go on your socials or when they see that you have me in your life, they're gonna be like, well, poor her because her man's just buying me a drink. Mm -hmm. I don't need to be in someone's group chat of being dis disrespected because my man was being crazy out in the streets. So it's just like, go out and have fun and just be respectful towards it. Like, you don't, like, I understand the idea of like a wing, wing man, but I also think like the flock that you're around, your man isn't, your boys aren't gonna put you in a situation yeah, where you have to disrespect my yep. relationship. Like, I want them to be like, yo, I love Helene so much as my sister that you're not going to f*** this up. Oh, sorry, I just cursed. You know what yeah. I mean? But, like, no, it's okay. I would want your boys to respect our, respect what we got going on, Absolutely. too. Absolutely. And not compromise what we got going on. Mm -hmm. that in, at the end of the day, you're coming home to me, not them. Exactly. So, that's my opinion. And like, What's your opinion on cheating? It's just a lot of cheating going on, cheating going on out here. I hear about it left and right all the time. Divorce rates are high as I don't know what. It's just all type of BS going on, right? I don't see me. Black men don't cheat. Let me not say that. I for sure don't cheat, though. Like, I truly believe in morals and stuff. You know what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. I believe in karma. You do something bad, it's going to come back to you. Mm -hmm. So I'm really not the type of cheat. You know, I was raised by women and stuff, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm like hella just naturally kind, sweet. I know how to respect women. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So cheating ain't in my cards. Mm. But it is for a lot of other people. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? It's not. It, it's a uh, non-negotiable. I don't tolerate it. Hold on. You sure about that? Because um, sometimes you can be super in love and somebody cheat on you and you'll take them back. Not saying you, but a lot of women do that. If we have put a commitment to what me and you are, and we're saying we are exclusive, like I've just, I've talked to men where we were on and off situationship. Yeah. So I understood that like there's when he was unfaithful. That was part of the package that deal of, yeah. because of the standards that we had set up for the relation that we had. Mm -hmm. But in the package deal of exclusive of exclusive exclusivity, yeah. boyfriend and girlfriend, where I'm looking for a life partner, I'm looking for my husband. I'm not dating a, a cheater. Like what? Also with for myself too. Like I'm an overthinker. Me too. And like my heart's gonna be shot. I won't look at you the same. I won't trust you the same. Mm -hmm. Like it will be a lot of building breaches, and I don't need all that stress. I'm gonna like, you're gonna give me insecurities now. I'm not gonna be able to trust you. I'm not gonna be able to give you the freedom that I once would have because you broke all of that. So like, the relationship isn't gonna be fruitful. Like the youthfulness and the happiness and the love and joy you that we have. Be thinking every time they go somewhere. It's not gonna. It's not gonna be like that. I'm gonna, gonna look gonna at you same. sideways. I'm gonna bring it up. I'm gonna. I'm just not gonna be pleasant. And I'm. I love giving my person peace. I'm not gonna give you peace. I can promise you that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not giving you no peace. What? You make me cry at, at night? Because you wanted to do the next thing with so the next So how do you find the right guy then? If it's, pray, we're in a, we're in a uh, society where everybody's God. cheating and stuff. I wait for God, I pray, and I hope that the person I'm with, if he was a cheater, he, what's the call, got that shit out of his system. And for me, so like, it's different, right? I say that now, and I hold on to that, and I pray that I keep on those that same type of value. Yeah. If I'm married two, three kids in, and my partner cheats on me, I might have a different situation, a different story because there's children involved. There's an empire that was created. It's going to hurt more because we built years into it. Mm. Um, but it's Kids and everything. Right? But it's also, I'm going to be like, where were we at in our relationship for you to think you could do that? Where are we struggling? Because then there's, a, a, there's, not an under, there's no understanding of cheating. But there's, no. a, there's a complexity of like, okay, like we weren't in the best place. But if we were in the best place in our relationship and you still decided to step out, I don't think I can take you back because there was nothing wrong in my end and I was boo boo the fool. Mm. You ain't mean. There shouldn't be a reason to step out, but I don't know. Ooh, that at makes me ask you a question about having female friends and like guy friends. Mm -hmm. So like you, would you, okay, so you have female friends. Yeah. Um, how do you feel about your woman having guy friends? Um, I would just have to get to know them. See me, I'm an expert at reading people. Mm -hmm. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I already, I, I'm good at reading people, so if I meet them and I see how they are, mm. right? Because most male friends, let's be real, they trying to get some. I agree. You know they're what I'm trying to say? Or if they're not trying to get some, they just, at some point, if you throw it at them, they're going to catch it. They're, they're going to catch it. You feel me? Catch it. They're going to catch that joint. <laughs> and so my thing is, 
me, I'm just not a controlling person. Mm -hmm. I would never want to come off as controlling. I always want to come off as uh, making you feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. But having male friends and I see how they act and I, I know how they move, mm -hmm. what you want me to do? Mm -hmm. It's making me uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. So what you want me to do? Because mm. I'm going to feel weird if I got to tell you, yo, you got to cut him off. Like, that's not me. That don't, mm -hmm. I don't, I don't, that can't even come in my mouth. Like, I can't even say that. Mm -hmm. So I, that's not going to make me feel good. I have to say, yo, you need to cut him off. Like, no. Mm -hmm. But what you going to do? Mm -hmm. Oh, is this a question? I'm asking you, if it was a situation, you got your male friends. See, I know some of your male friends. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know. Um, you know. Oh, man. Exactly. That's why I say, uh, oh, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You feel me? I can see the type of guy they are. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, they seem pretty respectful mm -hmm. so if you got friends like that i would feel of course i'm comfortable i'm a little more comfortable you feel mm -hmm. what i'm saying mm -hmm. they smooth and everything i don't know how they get down mm -hmm. they some smooth dudes and everything mm -hmm. i know how we all know how this goes mm -hmm. but if they not like obin and them no <laughs> they're not like them i can see I, I, can, I can see how they kind of respect me they're no, not I like agree. them what, like what do you want me to what do you what should i say like what should i do no, should I, I be like yo you need to cut him off Cause he trying to get in your, he trying to, he trying to get some, yeah. And it's making me uncomfortable. You know, and I think that's is it's yes, I agree. And I think um, at the end of the day, you're you're the person I'm with. You're the person I want to be with for the rest of my life, not my guy friend. And so if it makes you uncomfortable, it's like okay, I'm I'm gonna put extra boundaries that are in place. And I'm not a stupid woman, right? I know I'm an attractive person, and I know like which guy friends I think if I gave them the opportunity would would catch it quick quick and so like with that being said being in a relationship like first i'm gonna tell you all my guy friends i want you to feel comfortable with all the guy friends i have and there's probably certain guy friends that i have that i'm gonna say hmm i don't see this is the thing i don't want to create distrust with you with if me telling i don't know how to explain this like what if i have a I guy i feel that though i, I, I kind of get what you're saying you mean like i don't want to be like oh i think he might want to get with me and then now you every time you hear his name you're just exactly like, oh. you're gonna what you call it exactly yeah. but if i Ooh. already but if i already set that boundary and i i don't call that person like i used to or i don't even like hang out with him alone and i'm always around you and like you i make i big you up in front of him i don't think i'm i don't even need to tell you i think this person might want me if I if he had the opportunity because since you're already a good sense of character but like long story short I'm not going to be close close with men who I feel would would jeopardize our relationship exactly at all and vice versa but yeah you know like, what I'm, saying? I'm a lover boy so if I feel like like even though now nah, my thing is if I've been friends with the person for a long time that's different and I know that they're not like that yeah that's, and, and I they trust respect you. then I'm good you know what I'm trying mm -hmm. to say if it's someone I just met and we didn't flirt it before and everything, yeah, it is different. And then, then that's different. I, I'm sorry. Like yeah, I'm a lover boy. I'm all about my girl. I so agree. I don't really like. I can't really talk to you like that. If I can't invite them to the wedding, then they don't need to be in my mm. life. That's just, Yo, that's how that I, was that's solid. Like, that's Damn, really that's how I am. If I can't invite <clears> you to the wedding, then you're good. You're 100 percent good. Because I don't want no one at so my wedding. So you were loyal to your man. 100 percent loyal. What? It's me and him. That's it. I'm done with like the girl trips. I'm done. I'm on vacations. Okay. You're not going on your girl trips. That's crazy. Not can go on my girl trips, but the, like I've been. But your main focus is your man for sure. When the time comes, yeah. I'm still gonna do me though. Like I'm not gonna hold to. myself back. Mm -hmm. And obviously, if there's a girl trip, I'm gonna go on it if I can. But like I want to prioritize my love life. I've put so much into my career, so much into my family and my friends, so much into myself. And the one part of myself that I want to nurture is that love. So what's your favorite part about physical touch? Um, feeling wanted by my person. Mm. Because they like they always want to have, they're always holding on me, they're always touching exactly. me. Exactly. And like, I get butterflies and all that stuff. Mm. And so it's just like, oh, okay, like, he's like, I think I'm very observant. So I, I, um, I know behavior. So if off rip, you're always touching, you're always doing that. And then you have an off day and I feel like you don't mm. want me to be around you. I'm like, okay. what's up? Facts. Because so then you, you're not like this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you you like to cuddle with Oh, 100 percent But I recognize when it's time to sleep. When it's time to actually sleep for sure, I need you to get up off me. <laughs> but right. <laughs> oh, I, I can put my hand right. I like we can be separate. I put my hand like just this. Touch, I just need your foot to <laughs> yeah. touch my legs. So no, you know what I'm saying? That's it. Well, maybe in the middle, I'll, I'll cuddle back in. That's like, what I'm saying. I'm to give miss. off a lot of body heat too. Yeah. So I'll be hot. What's your favorite like cuddle position? I I love um. I think I like my my head on the shoulder. 
head on the I'm shoulder? I'm like head on, your, on the chest. Mm -hmm. I think that's kind of uncomfortable sometimes. I can, I like starting. Like you laying on, like, like you laying head on the chest. I'm like this, yeah. I'm like this. On the side? Yes. Okay, I see what you're saying. Okay, I got yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. But I realize that, like, that can be uncomfortable. I can't sleep like that forever. So I like to be spooned. Like, Sleep. I was if I was gonna sleep by myself, and then him, his arm around me. Okay. Yeah. What about his, his arm on your butt or something? That's fine. See, my favorite. I got two favorites that like melt my heart. I gotta hear it. So let's say your bed got the bed frame like this. Yeah. Right. I like when I'm up just like this, and she's in between me. Really. And I can't hold her from here. Really. And we just like you know what I'm saying. Wait, like, the, the, you're that sleeping the whole night? No, no, no. This is just cuddling. Oh, go, 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 go. I'm okay. like you. When it comes to sleep, <laughs> you need to go over there. I'm sorry. I got to get some Z. Oh, yeah, okay, no. I want to be on your chest. The whole, but just the, the just the, the cuddling okay, portion. I love that. Like this or like against here. Yeah, no, no, and no, no. And no. right here. Yeah, like, no. Oh, my no, I love God. that. No, I love that. Look. Oh, look at him melting. And then my second melt is mm. when, when I'm laying down. Mm. And you know how you said head on your chest? Mm -hmm. I'm talking about like I'm laying down and you're on top of me. <laughs> like you're on top of me, head on your chest. You What's the me? difference from that and the other one? See, yours is like on the side. On no, no, the, but side. The, the first two. I feel like the first, the, your, yours were the same. So I'm the holding you. Like I'm up and I'm mm, holding you. The oh. second one is I'm laying down. Oh, yeah. And no, you're laying that. down. See, in the first one, she's facing this way. I'm facing this way. I'm just holding oh. you. So we laying together, and I got my arms in front of you, and I'm holding you. Oh, I love that. You feel me? That's so romantic. <laughs> <laughs> but the second one makes me melt. No, I like the second one a lot. Because the second one, like, I'm laying down, and her head is on me. She's literally laying on me. Yeah, no, I love it's that one. her head on me, and I, my arm's kind of long. So yeah. I can grab her butt at the same time. You hear this, man? You he, feel me? He's a very sexual man, I I'm suppose. I'm sex? What you mean? Physical touch. <laughs> that ain't got nothing to do with that. What you mean? Booty rub? Come on, I gotta get... I can't and stand. I can, just, literally, I can just stand out and I can grab your butt while you... I agree. That that that's yeah. what I prefer that. I agree. I agree with that. I'm having okay. flashbacks. Who, who, who's the flashback? Because <laughs> it's not me. No, no, no. I'm just, I, I meant flashbacks. Uh, a flashback from this patty milk because I haven't oh, had it in five the, years. The white girl? I, oh, my God. Really? <laughs> we used to color like that, though, for real. Oh, I love that for you. Hey, I, no, no, it's, I did not, it's you and me right no, no, now. No, 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 no. Yeah, no. We ain't got to worry about her, okay? <laughs> we ain't got to worry about her. I was just reminiscing on... The so, patty milk I used to five years ago. I haven't had it in so long. Y'all heard him. He said, I'm having flashbacks of what? Of, of the patty milk. I'm trying to tell you. And now of I got to eat it. Look, I got to eat a salad now. You like I salad. went from eating patty milk to salads. Like, look how she bite. Mm. So how she, like, come on. Mm. Wait, have you been in love? I was in love with my ex, for sure. I'm who's a this lover ex? boy. Who's this ex? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, who's this ex? When was this ex? <clears throat> we broke up March 2020. Mm. One of them COVID breakups. Nah, she was cool though. But she was Pakistani. Hmm? She was Pakistani. What does that mean? Like the country? She, Pakistani? Oh, she's from Pakistan. Uh, that's her, that's her oh, ethnicity. Oh, Pakistani, wow. Yeah, so she was Pakistani. Oh, wow, she was beautiful. Nah, she was mad pretty. Because Pakistanis are like gorgeous. Yes. Yeah. nah, she looked good. And we had a good relationship. I learned so much about myself and everything. But it's a culture, culture clash. Mm. You know, you know, like Indian, Pakistanis, mm -hmm. you know their culture. You know how that goes. It'd be like the same way with like Africans and stuff mm -hmm. too. They want you to be, they want you to date somebody in the culture. How long did it last? It was a year and a half. Good relationship though. I, I'm a lover boy. Like I, Wait, so then who, I found out that I love PDA. I love all of that. Where, how? How? Um, not how. When did it end? Like, how did it end? Did you break up with her? It was mutual. I broke up with her. Oh, really? Like twice before. What? I know I shouldn't be saying. And who cares? I broke up with her twice before. I kept getting back with her because she's such a vibe. And the reason why I broke up with her was because of the culture clash. It wasn't her. It had nothing to do with her. They wanted her with a uh, another brown guy. And then what is she? And like? I'm shooting your daughter like a queen. I treat your daughter like a queen, and that's why that's okay. That needed to happen to me because I'm gonna treat a queen like, like a, a queen. queen. Okay. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> so it was just a. I mean, hey, that's okay. I was going to sleep at night, like just thinking, like, 
if I have kids with her, like my kid, they might look at my mixed kid mm. different than the older sister that has a brown and brown kid. Oh, Same portrait kid. 100%, 100%. So I'm oh, thinking yeah. about that, and I'm thinking about this, and I'm thinking about that. And it was just heavy on my mind. I think that's something for me, too, where, like, it's not like, because I've always wanted to date black men. Like, I just always dated black guys. I've, like, obviously been on a date with a couple of white guys. Um, I'm trying to, I think I had a Spanish face when I was younger. But for me, <laughs> for real. But, like, it's all about culture. And it's all about, like, I don't want my babies to not feel accepted by my in-laws because of some type of race or ethnicity that, like, I don't need them to have that barrier. Mm-hmm. Like, Auntie, Auntie um, Karen and Uncle Bill don't like me because I'm black. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want my son to feel that, which is why, like, dating a white person, not like I, I'm opposed to it, but it just never interests me. Um because of choosing that barrier for my future kids. But that, yeah, that's sure. obviously something that, like, in any relationship... you got to look at that. Yeah, you have to look at that. For, I, for everything? Come on now. But I wouldn't mind. It's just something that, like, you have to be worth it. But I prefer... I prefer black. my own culture. I'm not going to lie to you. And I just... I'm so happy where I'm at, where I'm just, like, literally obsessed with black women again. I That's how that. I was before I went to Brandeis and around all the white people. Yep, my thing is like you lived in Houston. How did you not? I love black women growing up, and then I just went to Boston and it was why Brandeis? Uh, basketball, and then not even basketball. It was so I could have went to like four schools for basketball, but Brandeis was the best academically. Mm. Right, I'm five ten. I mean, I'm good at basketball, mm-hmm. but I wasn't gonna go. I'm not going to the NBA. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Not if I was taller. <laughs> yeah, I'd be hey, more hey. of a baller. Hey, hey. But, uh... <laughs> I, like I, play, I don't play nothing. So, um... Maybe volleyball. That's what I'm saying. You, you got an athletic body. Thanks, babes. I try to work course, out. Med, med school, though, has been, like... We need gym dates group. going on. We need some gym dates. I know. You I know haven't me? been able to go to the gym in, like, so two weeks. So you can squat one time. You know I'm going to make sure I'm a, a good... Um, you, you see where his hand placement is? Immediately. What do you mean to squat? <laughs> I got to be a good uh, the sitter behind you. Got to make sure you mm-hmm. get right. You know what I'm saying? Get low enough with the knees. So, dang. So, when you come in Boston, when you come to New York. I ain't going to lie to you. I just keep seeing stuff about traveling, 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 traveling. Like, I'm I'm pulling up. I'm coming outside this year. You feel me? So, we going to vlog the gym date and everything. We got to show people how to actually do a real gym date. Right? Oh, okay, good. And mic me? it up. Oh my God, this would be so funny. Ah, the thing up. is like, I'm actually like, I make like the weirdest faces. Like I, like I, in terms of working out, like, I don't know. What's that like, mean? Because I'm just like, <laughs> like <laughs> Okay, that's that grind though. No, I'm literally People like, gonna be able to relate to that. It's like so bad. Like I, I love the gym. It's still pretty then, regardless. No matter how you, ah, it's still, <laughs> <laughs> It still look good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, got me coughing. It's the flu. I'm joking. No, stop playing with me. <laughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> I'm sorry. So tell me about your accessories. Oh, okay, so... Because I really love your fashion. Thank you. Y'all just look mad, like, just the pattern of that. You like? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I love a woman that can dress. Like, I'm obsessed with black women, and I'm obsessed with black women that can dress. Thank you. I lo- I do love dressing real. I-, I love... I think, like, what I want people when they seem like, oh, my gosh, she's a sophisticated black woman who has um, <sighs> wealth. You know exactly, 100%. And it's not even like, I'm not trying to be like, oh my gosh, she has so much money. It's more of like, oh, she's put together. Because unfortunately in society, you don't see black women, like, no, you don't see black women. You see other people trying to make, poor, um, tear down black women. Mm-hmm. Oh, like, they're not put together. They're not cute, whatever. So, like, I always have to feel like I'm put together. So when I'm around people who are not black. You shatter in that stereotype. Yeah. I love that. But, like, they, like, they respect me. Mm-hmm. They mean, they're just like, oh, this is, this is someone with, like, an education. And I'm not saying you need an education or whatnot. But I say I work too hard to not be respected. Absolutely. So it's sometimes, like, money talks. And you have to show them, like, Absolutely. oh, she's a sophisticated woman. I'm not going to talk to her in just any type of crazy way. Mm-hmm. You know, so. You ain't got to worry about that with me. I would never talk to you crazy. 
Oh, ever. Thank you. You know I'm hella sweet and no, nice. No, no, you are. You know I me? Mean? You like we've always uh, had a vibe. We always had a vibe. Always. Seriously, you seen that picture? How you was looking at me and stuff? I was just smiling and laughing because I'm just so Can happy to be around. Stop. You, you make what? You making me blush. I'm just so happy to, to be around you. It's always been like that. Like no, like not even like laughing. None of that. We really been like. We always no, had a no. nice little vibe. You know? We always have. And now we grown now. We're, yeah, we are. Let's get married. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Look, like, if things are, because the long distance is, is what no, you it's call a it. Huge, it's a huge thing. The long distance is big. Yeah. And, and that's the thing. Like, but I if need... you don't find no good man, and I don't find no good woman. You want to make a pact? Right on camera. <laughs> Just so we know you ain't capping. <laughs> He goes, Are you gonna make the pack or not? I want to block this deal. How many years we're giving our, ourselves? Five. Five years. I'm. Um... Okay. I mean, yeah. Three. No, five is good. Five, five, five. Yeah, because my five. <laughs> five, <laughs> five, five, five. Give me five years. <laughs> no, because like because next year I'm gonna be traveling a whole bunch. So you then... might you might find him. It's not even I'm gonna find him. It's like I want because you already got one. Period. But, it's right here. I mean, it's good to have options yeah. when you're thinking about forever. And that's true. And I and I love the fact that we can be real with each other about that. Mm -hmm. And that's what one thing about dating is like when you go on the first date, or oh, this is my husband, you have to close it off. You know, you have to be real. Like, like let's go on another one. Like, you know, we already have that comfortability with one another. Let's just try it out and see. Like, okay, the Absolutely. next time you're in my city until like we could actually be like, all right, how can we see our lives merge? Facts. Especially with long distances, it's just like, do I ever plan on being in Houston? You know, because like, the, the reason why for me it's so difficult to date is because I'm also going to do residency for three years. I'm applying to residency next year, so I don't know where I'm going to be. Like, next year, I have plans of being in certain states, right? Mm -hmm. But then after, I'm going to apply, I'm going to be in three years in either, I'm going to apply in New York, I'm going to apply in California, I'm applying in Boston, I'm applying in Florida, I'm applying in D.C. I don't know if I have any Texas options. And if I do, it would be Baylor. Where is Baylor? In Houston? Uh, it's like near Dallas. Or Dallas, yeah. It's over there, yeah. So that's where... That's four hours away. Yeah. You I mean, might as well take a four-hour flight. You know, I gotta yeah, drive a while. You know what I mean? So I feel like, realistically speaking, unless you plan on moving to me... Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> you mean leaving Houston? To go to the cold? No, no, no. I, I would consider for you... Uh, New York, though? No, no, the I, I, I don't want to live in New York because there's no stability You're talking there. Florida, though. <laughs> my hair. Yeah. My hair. I don't like Florida for my hair. For real? My hair does, like, you see how, like, my edges are laid and all that stuff. Like, how much going to be in Florida? It's gonna, probably going to be um, good. For real? Yeah, it's going to be good. Oh, Yo, God, hey, hair. girl. The way you grab like, <laughs> my head. Can you do that again? <laughs> like, fill them again. Oh, it's nice. Thank you. Did you, just get, you just got your hair done? Yeah, I just got it done. Oh, wow. You're so soft. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta stop it. You are really hella, you hella cool. You hella nice. You hella kind. Like, you're thoughtful. You know what I'm saying? You want me to keep going? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't know if you wanted to stop or not. <laughs> no, nah, you just gotta, you don't really give off toxicity, really. No. You know what I love about you, though? Mm. I love your confidence. Thank you. That's so attractive. Oh my when a gosh. woman is confident, I can, like, you could see it on you, like. Thank you. I like that. I like that. I appreciate that. I'm so happy and proud of you, too. Oh, right. So, I like that. I, I love that you're confident in yourself. And you can see it. Like, people can feel that. When you when you when you when you in love with yourself, people mm -hmm. can they can feel that. Yeah. That's why I said I got about seven to ten. Like I'm in love with myself. Another oh, yeah. seven pounds. Oh my god. Bruh. Ten. It's <clears throat> over with. But no, you I've I've recognized, especially with like as I'm like getting to the yeah. the next best step of myself, like I have to love myself any every part of version of me. Mm -hmm. Like especially if you're signing a prenup. No no no, like not would you want a sign of prenup with your with your woman? This is like a crazy conversation right now because we're gonna have to head out soon. Uh, a prenup? Would I sign one? <laughs> no, no, no. So you're saying if I get, I would you... sign one. Oh, really? So you, you want said, me to sign you on the prenup? If you if you a doctor and you just big balling compared to me, I would sign a prenup. Really? But I mean, I'm gonna be big balling too. Period. Brother. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm chasing something. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. getting we getting right. No, together. But at the end of the day, it could still be a possibility. You're a doctor, so I mean, it's a possibility. Oh, wow. You can make more than a lot of people. So oh, signing wow. the prenup. 
I'm not gonna lose you. Oh. <laughs> I'm not even just saying that to make it sound good. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lose you. But on that note, bye. <laughs> Are you gonna sign the prenup though? Um. I mean, you better to be a. You better be a doctor. Yeah. Something matter to you. But I mean, what's your take on that? So for me, like before, I said no because I was like signing a prenup. I don't want to put that in the future that we're gonna ever get divorced and whatnot. But um, because I, as right now I'm in my career and <laughs> a lot of things are happening without having a partner. Um, I do like you know my family owns a couple of properties and stuff, and mm. so. It's like it's things that my family has worked for. My dad has worked for doctors, yeah. got the properties. So like I don't, it's not like <clears throat> I don't want my husband to have yeah, access to that. <laughs> Doctor properties. What can I say? Oh, it is. So um, I don't know. It's awesome. like I don't want to sign a prenup. I, I I just don't know. People change. By God's grace, I'm not going to marry someone who's going to take anything from me and like run away with my money. That's not. The mindset I'm going into. If I marry you, it's like you're my life partner. Facts. And we're in this forever till death do us part, baby. Um, so, yeah, I don't want to sign a prenup. I don't want to suggest that. But if I feel like it might be necessary to protect what my family has created. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Like, I want us, what we create together to be for us. But and that's how I feel. Yeah. yeah for sure. If I'm, because I have a couple of business ideas that I want. And, like, if I if I do those things before my partner and I have that those business ideas with my sisters, I wanna you know, protect what me and my sister created together. I'm not saying my husband doesn't have access to that. Obviously, it's gonna be written like, oh, husband and kids have access to X, Y, and Z, but also know that it's my sisters as well, and my right. families, you know? I love so, that. That's my take on it, to protect whatever my family created before my man got into my life. But I don't need to sign a prenup, but. So deep down, mm -hmm. deep down, I'm a little bougie, I'm not even gonna lie to you. And I can get, I get that vibe from you too. You feel me? Same. How do you feel about me taking you to Whataburger? First date type. Like, how do you feel about that? Whataburger. <laughs> Whataburger. To be honest, um, because you're someone that I already knew from the past. And, like, I wanted this to be a chill, great experience. Like, I I don't have any type of way. Like, I wanted to go to Whataburger. Mm -hmm. It's funny that you say that. Because if you took me to Cheesecake Factory, I might feel like some type of way. And this is a, I just, she says Pie Factory is more expensive than it's nice, but I'd rather you take me to some place I can't find anywhere else. Exactly. I can take my ass to Cheesecake. Yeah. But you take me to Whataburger where it's known, like a Texas good thing. Absolutely. It's one of your favorite spots. It's like, it's it's more authentic and genuine to you. Mm -hmm. And I prefer that. Like, I'd There's rather. There's a story behind it, for sure. You know sure. what I mean? I'd rather someone take me to like a cheap taco, taco place or That's take known. me to, you know what I mean? Or take me to like one of their favorite hole in the walls rather than take me to an Applebee's or a Cheesecake Factory where like they just have to look up food near me. No, take me mm -hmm. to your favorite spot when, you, when you're feeling low and you need food to, you know, make you feel good. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's me. That patty melt hit. You know what I mean? That patty melt? So I like, Talk I don't know, us. like I, you know, I love me my steakhouse is. I, if you're trying to impress me, we're like, all right, I want, I want to wind it down you. There's a place for that. But there's a place for us to just also like vibe out, vibe out, have great conversation, great conversation, and also like, I feel I eat good, makes me feel good. Yeah, and you I feel want good? that. Yeah, that's all that matters. Then. That's all that matters. What a burger um, for a doctor is crazy. But crazy. this is what we tell. This is what we go on with because at the end of the day, this. It's a Texan staple. Yeah. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And she's from Boston, y'all. She's from Mass. And so I had to take her somewhere that's a, a Texas staple. Yeah. So I'm not just a cheap person. No, 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 no. And but. I, and that's what I'm saying. I'm so, that's what men, when they see, like, my Instagram or when they see how I look, or, like, I have, like, the bougie, like, the Fendi, the Cartier, all that stuff, the Louis, the Gucci, all, all. And I like those nice things. But I'm also, like, you can take me to Whataburger and we can, we've been here for what? We've been here four, for a minute. Five hours. Four to five hours just vibing, just chilling. Just vibing out, talking. Meeting me. But that's the thing. We've already built a rapport. Absolutely. If, if it's first time meeting me, you're going to take me to a good-ass restaurant. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm not going to hold you. If you're first time me, because I'm not going to look at you again. But I've known you for years. Yeah, for sure. I've and you know you we got years. good energy for sure great energy and like i wanted this he asked me what do you want i'm like i've heard of this place like take me there exactly and you he, was, he even said he was like i feel like it's a cheap day i don't know i'm like i want it like let's go exactly i'm down to earth y'all come on now you're really down to earth and that's what i appreciate about you 100 yeah. percent. you look like a roof chris lady baby come on now <laughs> roof stay chris, 48 Masters. roof chris but you so down Ash. to earth that's what i'm saying you so down to earth that you can let me take you to Whataburger. Yeah. And the energy is just so amazing to where you got your meal for free. 
So let's talk about it. Let's I, like, talk about it. Meal like, for free. That's just the I energy that you have. That's the energy that we have. We, that we like, have. when we're together, y'all know how it go. No, but the lady really gave me a whole free meal. Like, she's so sweet. I was like, yo, she's from Massachusetts. She's never been here. And what's her name? Sahimi? Simi? Simi. Sima. Sima. <laughs> She a real one. We got her on the camera. She a real one. She's just she like gay. that. Should go over there. Yeah, she's been working here for a while. My we really girl. been here for a while. We been here for it's night now. It got it's dark. Nice. It got it's dark wild. quick. It got dark quick. But no. But next place we going somewhere different. Hundred percent. We can do an activity. I like activities for first dates. But this was good. This was fire. What to catch up and everything. That's what I'm saying. Like I, I like a good dinner date and a good like drink date. Sometimes, mm. like, the activity, like, you use it as a, an escape goat because you're busy doing something, so you don't really yeah. get to talk and know yep. that person. I like to talk and get to know somebody. Yeah, and vibe. We had a great conversation. Today. Great, laughing all the time. Laughing the whole time. Cheesing. We really meant for each other. <laughs> he, he said that. Are we? Yeah. We just far away from each other, though, and that's just tough to to uh, grasp. So, mm. now you're leaving, me, you're leaving me here to, to deal with some Houston women that just don't have the same vibe as you. But <laughs> we're going to find out. It's that's very unfortunate. Or oh, I just haven't came across them yet. That's true. There's always... No, I'm sorry. Of, I'm, I'm, I'm one-on-one. One. One. I'm one-on-one. One. <laughs> Baby, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Yeah. Don't do that. No, no, no. There never you, will man. be another Herlene, okay? Herlene does. That's me, period. Absolutely. Absolutely? Mm-hmm. And there'll never be another Ryan. I'm so happy that you said that. 100%. Because I was going to say it, but I, you know I'm real humble with it. No, no, no. You but you are you are one on one. Thank you. That's why our vibe is just like that. We locked in. We locked in. We've been locked in. Now. Let's do this. You know the vibes. We know the vibes. You know the vibes. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, y'all know no. the vibes. Make sure to follow her lean. Thank you, Your Dr. Your favorite Doss. doctor. Dr. Doss. You know the vibes. <clears throat> and we're going to keep coming with some entertaining content. Yes, for sure. You know, I'm trying to find love at the end of the day. <laughs> and I really already found it, but she all the way in Boston. Yeah. So, you know, long distance don't work from what I feel. Yeah, which is understandable. So, so it was such an amazing date, and I just love you from the bottom of my heart. Yeah, I love you, too. You look girl. so good, too. Thank you. We I'm look even, good. We look good? We look good. Thank you. <laughs> I like how you, I like her game. She real smooth with it. It's a little bad, you know. But yeah, um, make sure you subscribe, y'all. Uh, I love y'all too. And no, if y'all got no. any recommendations for me for any women in the Houston area for me to take on, take a, take a, take a date, take on a date. I don't. I, I'm lucky to get tired. I didn't even lie. I love you get tired. If y'all got any women in the Houston area that uh, you could suggest me take on a date, let me know. Talk about another but woman she right needs now. Needs to be no, no. Hold on. All right. But if she not like her lean, I don't want her. Like he it's really as it. simple as that. Period. So if y'all got recommendations, send them my way. But if they're not her lean. If they're not a good woman. Not, that's what I'm saying. Good woman. Mad pretty. Thank nice you. facial features. Eyebrows on fleek. Nice lips. Thank pretty you. eyes. I appreciate nice that. Nice body. Thank that's you. just the physical aspect, guys. <laughs> but what matters most is what's inside. My heart. Just her energy, her heart. That's what means the most to me. Thank like, you. Like, I love that about you. Thank that's you. That's why every single time we see each other, it just be a vibe. No, it really is. It feels like, look, literally, it's been 10 years, guys. 10 years. It's been a long time. And then, boom. And then we could do it on ca- You know my favorite thing? You could do this on camera. It was all natural. This has not been, like... It's been, right? Like, has not been, like, played, acted out. Like, this is how Authentic we are. as it gets. Like, literally. Nah. This is how we are. Yeah, you like, know we, we were on live on Instagram, and one of our mutual friends named LeBom was like, why aren't y'all dating? Remember, he's like... this said that? Are, Yeah. You didn't know so that? Can, I don't remember that. He was like... People can feel it. They, they already yeah, know it's because like. we were on um, live, and they're just... And we were trying to figure out a name for your vlog. About um, for the love of Ryan. Yeah, for the love yeah. of What did you say? What did you I do? I said it was for the relevant or f- um. They didn't like, want Ryan. Ryan experience. Ryan experience. That was the, your favorite no, one. No. I said Ryan experience. It could mean a plethora of things. Exactly. That's true. So I like I like that one a lot. I like niching down to for the love of Ryan. Though. Yeah, for the love of Ryan. The and dates, so, the podcast. Mm-hmm. And we were, you know, coming up with different ideas. And LeBron I appreciate goes, you for that. And a lot of people were like, oh, look at y'all's chemistry. LeBron's like, why aren't you guys just dating right now? Why aren't you guys dating right now? Oh, my God. Because we went live yes, together. We uh, sure did. And now look at me being the first date. That was, a, that was like two I'm months ago. I'm so happy you're the first one. I know. I don't know if this is going to get topped. Hmm? I don't know if this is ever going to get topped. Another date like this. I know. We're going to see. We're going to see. It's going to be real hard, though. You're going to have to come to New York. 
for another date. In a heartbeat, absolutely. In a heart, you heard that. What y'all think? In should, a heartbeat. Should her and I go on another date? Should I go to New York? And should I go to choose, home, her home territory? And you guys choose the restaurant or the activity or the date for us to do. Okay, you guys let us know. We're gonna go on some more expensive next time, for sure. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, girls kind of high maintenance. High maintenance. I'm, <laughs> I'm the same having, way though. I just like nice things, but again, I'm still down to earth. You know what I mean? And this, this warranted a water burger experience. Water burger. Exactly. Water burger. All right, y'all. We out, man. Make sure to subscribe. We got more days coming. Yes. You just need them to be as great as her lean. Make sure to subscribe. Can I get a kiss? On the cheek. <laughs> Let me get one on the cheek. Very real quick. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You're <is> so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure to, to subscribe, subscribe, like, comment. I love y'all. And make sure to follow her link. Yes, Dr. Doss underscore. You know the vibes. Thanks, guys. That was fire. 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 You should, what's it called? You should, um, what's it called? That's one of the clips. Can I get a kiss? And I just look at you. <laughs>